Hi and welcome to this new video. Today we'll be doing the outdoor comparison between the Iwaxos 9 and the Devialli Phantom. Um, yeah, I'm again in this little village where my grandma and my granddad live. Maybe some old viewers remember I did my first loudness check with the Phantom here as well. And I now have the permission for them from them to do this. Um, so they don't get annoyed or they wonder where this loud music is coming from. Um, and yeah, I'd say we have enough space here. First, I will start with 80% volume and you can hear how loud these two are. And then we'll be going to 100% volume with some very extreme recordings. And I will also um, yeah, measure them with this decibel measurement tool here to see which one is really louder. Of course I'm aware of the fact that the Phantom is um, way more expensive and of course also not portable but I thought um, since the Iowa is my second loudest Bluetooth speaker I own um, we could just do this comparison here. So yeah I'm recording this with my high quality binaural microphones so please put up your headphones as binaural recordings only work through headphones and enjoy the comparison. So now I'm ready to go. It was very complicated to set up everything. Yeah, I also brought this little dog here. Yeah, I don't really know what his name is, but okay, he's with me. And now I selected some tracks and I will start with the Iowa playing first at about 80% volume. This is the Phantom now. Bluetooth range is struggling a bit. The Iowa isn't even that far off. It sounds quite nice. Let's try the Phantom again. Yeah, this punch is simply crazy. Maybe let's try another track. Oh, I got the wrong one over here. This one. I would say that the Iowa isn't even that bad. But of course this punch from the Phantom is just crazy powerful, even the Iowa has no chance against this. Travel is similar so you can hear both very nicely from this distance. Sadly, uh, sadly I can't go farther away as um, yeah, the Bluetooth range isn't enough. But I think this should resemble uh, yeah, a good um, sound image for you because no one will playing these speakers from I don't know 100 meters away. Therefore you can maybe also check out my other comparison where I went as far away as I could. Hopefully wind noises aren't that loud um, because I don't have a pop filter for my new microphones, but I think it'll be okay. Let's try another track now. This punch is simply crazy good. Maybe the Iowa even sounds a bit clearer. Let's try another part of this track where you have some more punch and let's crank the Iowa up to 100% and the Phantom to 80%. So this is 80% on the Phantom. Wow. And 100 on the Iowa. The Iowa doesn't even stand a chance against the Phantom. The Phantom is a lot louder even on 80%. I'm quite impressed as upper bass is very similar on these two. Mids might even sound a bit clearer on the Iowa although treble is a bit better on the Phantom. But again the deep bass is simply the best on the Phantom because the Iowa I think is lacking a bit of deep bass on maximum volume as it of course has to reduce some of the bass. But the Phantom simply uh, has so much power, this is crazy good. 
let's try a, the last track and then we will try a track at maximum volume on both. Still some nice punch on the Iowa. Wow. The Phantom is much louder. So I would say that the Phantom simply won here. The I was playing at 100% and the Phantom still at about 80% which is just crazy because the Phantom is louder and much better sounding. It sounds like a little PA system. Now let's try our last track for this and then we will be done because now we will be cranking them to maximum volume. So Phantom to 100% volume. I really hope that the wind noises aren't too loud because it was very difficult to record this video. So now let's crank it up to 100% and try out this track here. You can hear that the Iowa doesn't have a chance. Now the Phantom. The Phantom is a lot louder, so now we are at maximum volume. The Iowa almost sounds lost. This simply sounds like it's a PA system with a full subwoofer. The Iowa yeah, simply sounds a bit lost against it. So now we are done with this comparison and I'm so glad that everything worked out because it was very complicated to set everything up. As you could clearly hear, the Iowa didn't really stand a chance against the Phantom, but I still have to give huge credit to the Iowa as it really didn't perform bad. I mean, it was almost as loud as the Phantom, plus it sounded very nice at maximum volume. You heard all of the bass of the song, nothing sounded distorted or compressed or anything. So the Iowa really is a great speaker, especially for $300, so huge credit to the Iowa. And of course, the Phantom, yeah, still being the king of loudness here. There also is the Diamond Box XL, which I would really like to test, but I don't have $1,700 laying around somewhere. And of course, they also do not ship to Germany, I think. So yeah, the De Valley Phantom remains the king here, but the Iowa still is a very nice speaker, especially for portable use and $300 only. So yeah, if you like this comparison and you... I don't know, also liked my effort to record this. Please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Until then, have a great time and bye bye. Yeah. Which one do you like more, Phantom or Iowa? Mm, okay, yeah. I also think the Phantom is better. Yeah, okay, the Iowa is better for the price. Mm. Yeah.